Dear students, here we have problem 2 under the topic standard type 2 from non-linear partial differential equation. So the question is solve 9 multiplied with p square z plus q square is equal to 4. So we understand that only p, q and z are involved in this equation and so this is of the standard type f of z comma p comma q equal to 0. So first we have to write that. So after writing this, we have to mark the given equation as equation 1. And now next step is we have to make a substitution Q is equal to AP. How this substitution is made, I have explained in video lecture 1 of this topic. That is under problem 1. So you, you may go through it for your better understanding. So we have to make a substitution of Q equal to AP in equation 1. So let us do that now. So when we substitute q, q equal to ap, what we get is 9 multiplied with p square is z plus. Here we have q square. So q is ap and so q square will be a square p square is equal to 4. Now after making the substitution, we have to solve for p. So when we solve for p, we take this 9 to the right first and this p square can be taken common out. So first what I will do? 9 multiplied with p squared is z plus a square is equal to 4. So let us have this p square on the left and take the remaining to the right. So p square will be equal to 4 by 9 multiplied with 1 by z plus a square. So this is what we have. Now what will be p then? p will be equal to plus or minus square root of 4 by 9 multiplied with square root of 1 by z plus a the whole square. I mean z plus a square it's not whole square z plus a square and so p will be equal to plus or minus what is square root of 4 it is 2 divided by square root of 9 is 3 multiplied with 1 divided by square root of z plus a square. Now after finding the value of p, we have to take this and substitute in the equation which is given by dz is equal to p dx plus q dy. But from this, dz is equal to p dx plus what is q? q is equal to ap is the substitution that we have made. So ap dy. Now in this p can be taken common and so it will become dx plus a dy. And here you have d is it. And taking this p to the left, we will be left out with d is it divided by p is equal to dx plus a dy. Now we have to substitute the value of p that we have obtained here in this equation. So when we substitute, what we get is d is it is equal, I mean d is it divided by p. So what is p? This value. So the reciprocal of this we have to substitute. And so the reciprocal of this will be plus or minus 3 divided by 2. And this square root of z plus a square goes to the numerator. And so we will be having square root of z plus a square is equal to dx plus a dy. Let us write it properly now. So this can be written as plus or minus 3 by 2 square root of z plus a square d is z is equal to dx plus a dy. Integrating on both the sides, so integral of this we have to find. So this will be plus or minus 3 by 2. And what is the integral of z plus a, the whole power 1 by 2? It will be z plus a, I mean a square to the power 1 by 2 plus 1. 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 is equal to the integral of dx is x plus the a is a constant integral of dy is y plus b. So this 3 by 2 and this 3 by 2 gets cancelled. Now squaring on both the sides this, we will, this plus or minus will become plus itself. So it will be z plus a square the whole cube. So, so because we are squaring on both the sides this 1 by 2 which is root of z plus a square becomes z plus a square itself and we will be having only the cube 3 because we are squaring this term this 1 by 2 is the root value which will be 
uh, which on squaring will get vanished and so z plus a square the whole cube will be equal to now squaring on the right also x plus a y plus b the whole square so this is the required solution and we obtain this by squaring on both the sides so it's better to mention it so squaring on both the sides this power 3 by 2 becomes only 3 because 1 by 2 will uh, on squaring it becomes the term itself that is z plus a square cube is equal to x plus a y plus b the whole square so hope you have understood this problem thank you kindly follow the next video lecture for problem 3 under the topic type 2